an internationally renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, poet, and artist, Supreme Master Ching Hai has also been an advocate for peace and the environment, as well as an animal lover. Caring deeply for the planet and all its inhabitants, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been urgently raising awareness on the threats of climate change, with a steadfast determination that planetary destruction must be stopped before it is too late. Tirelessly accepting numerous invitations to conferences, media interviews and other events, she has helped to clarify and prioritize the vegan solution for humankind, grounded in both extensive scientific research as well as profound inner spiritual knowledge. Supreme Master Ching Hai sends a message of encouragement for government leaders and citizens throughout the world, which is to act nobly for the survival and happiness of all beings now and to come. In late 2010, at the invitation of Mexico's Secretariat of Environment and Natural Resources, Supreme Master Ching Hai arrived in Cancun, Mexico, to offer her support, through prayers as well as her gentle presence, for the United Nations Climate Change Conference, or COP16, and its crucial mission of forging an international treaty to curb global warming and protect the world's citizens. During the course of the Climate Change Summit, some of the attending dignitaries who had the chance to speak with Supreme Master Ching Hai included the President of Mexico, His Excellency Felipe Calderon, Moldovan Minister of Environment and Natural Resources Jorge Salaru, Togo's natural focal point to the UNFCCC Ambassador Gomi Tomieba, Head of the Climate Change Department at the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency Dr. Azet Louis Hanala Ajibi. Ugandan Environment Minister, Her Excellency Jessica Erio, and Peru's Environment Minister, Dr. Antonio Jose Brack Egg. Furthermore, while in Cancun, Supreme Master Ching Hai granted a number of interviews to print, radio, and television representatives of the Mexican media. She was also invited as the guest of honor for the Greenest Heroes Gala, co hosted by the mayor of Cancun, the Honorable Jaime Hernandez Zaragoza, and the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association. The charity campaign by Cancun's Lady Mayoress and President of the Social Welfare Agency for the city's Benito Juarez borough, Patty Meneses de Hernandez, as well as a press conference with members of the media. Following Supreme Master Ching Hai's example of true love in action, our association members from over 10 countries arrived in Cancun to distribute leaflets and promote the organic vegan diet as the single most effective solution to climate change. Despite her busy schedule, Supreme Master Ching Hai often met with our association members to answer questions and shared her wisdom. We now invite you to join us for Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful discussion with our association members entitled The Loving Nature of Birds, given in Cancun, Mexico. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. And then you do like this and it check out, down, yeah. Take some, you know, as much as you want. Go, go down like that. Then you do like this, yeah? Oh, yeah. Look how it is. Thank you. Thank you. Just a company, there's some soup here. Yeah, just... Put it anywhere on it. They there with you, don't worry. <laughs> Wherever you put that seed, you know? Just like the bird outside, you know? They're far away, but when they spread the bread, oh, they're all flying. <laughs> but the bird today, what did you call the name? That black bird with the neck like turkeys? Sofilote. Sofilote? Yeah. Oh, big, you know? Big, very big. Oh, very big. They do circle it. Yeah? I don't know that. Then he just goes straight to my balcony, sit next to me. <laughs> you know, like arm plant like this. And he's not afraid of me at all. Yeah. I was thinking, wow, I never seen such a bird in my life, you know? Wow. That is typical in Mexico, right? Yes, yes. My God, thank God we still have them. North Mexico and South Mexico is yeah? very typical. Mm. Yes. I don't know why he just comes straight to me like, you know, I'm sitting there, I was reading a document, you know? was movements and not just 
No movement, I have a big hat on. <laughs> and uh, I was so curious, I was thinking, my God, what kind of bird is that? Wow, so curious. And I said, you want some bread? You know, he didn't say nothing much. And I said, can try. And then, so I came in when I stand up, you know, he a little scared, and so he went a few meters away instead. And then when I come out, I spread the bread over there. And I go back, sit in the, in the chair. He came back. Same position, and stare in my nose like that. <laughs> you must think you're a beautiful bird. <laughs> I was thinking he's a rare bird. <laughs> but for a Chinese, not for me, I'm rare. <laughs> so he was thinking, oh, he probably uh, make some video tape for, for his television. <laughs> I am photographing him, and he's a video tape in here <laughs> for his six o'clock news. <laughs> yeah. Bloody television, huh? <laughs> yeah, he really was not afraid at all. Yeah, so beautiful. How come they're not afraid? Because people friendly to him in Mexico, or they are just very friendly as birds? Oh, normally they don't get close to people. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is it like here, like oh. the, like here distant? Wow. You know, the balcony is outside here is very, mm -hmm. very narrow. About like mm -hmm. one meter, huh? Yeah. And I sit on my chair, and he's just on the balcony there, right in front of me. He deliberately go there yeah. because he could park elsewhere. You know, <laughs> 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 he could park in a swimming pool nearby or on top of me even. Yeah. You want to get a closer look at you? Oh uh, yeah, probably blonde, you know. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe he wants to sing mariachi. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sing, Mari sing mariachi or something. Oh, I want to sing. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. <laughs> I was so grateful that he, 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 he showed me such a trust, you know. Yeah. And I was thinking maybe because uh, uh, Mexican birds are like that. Because all the birds, they also come eat almost from my hand. Wow. And I've seen them before. Yeah. You know, these birds, every mm -hmm. day I feed. Wow. Mm -hmm. If they're near, they just come down right away and eat <laughs> in front of me, like an open restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> South Mexico, there are a lot of very bright colored birds. Oh, yes, yes. Birds, a yes. lot of them here yes. because they protect the environment around here in yeah. Cancun. You see, you can hear them. Yeah. Hear them? It's a lot. A lot. Yeah. yeah. So this big bird, oh, he scared me, you know, when he goes straight in, I was thinking, <laughs> he just fly from far, and when he go near, he just land there quietly. I was thinking maybe he just fly straight on my shoulder. <laughs> it seems like that. But no, he land on the balcony and just look at me. Mm. I say, I love you so much. My, you're so beautiful. You're, it's really beautiful. It's really a good day today. <laughs> The birds visit two, you know, two. two. One park nearby and one park is in front of me. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he videotaped me and, and added on his six o'clock news. Birdie television, you know, bird TV. <laughs> I think I never seen it before. And Chinese blonde. <laughs> he probably introduced in his TV. Beloved audience, you know. <laughs> Chinese, I've seen a lot, but this one, Chinese, I tell you, I've never seen it in my life. Ever look at her. <laughs> you, you never learn enough, you know. You, know, you thought you've seen it all, but you haven't. <laughs> yeah, so cute. <laughs> wow, that's really make my day the bird, you know. I really love that bird. The neck is a wrinkle, you know, rough, like turkey. Yeah, yeah the head also, all bald, bald. <laughs> but the whole body is full of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he likes my hat. <laughs> Big hat. <laughs> He managed to find you. <laughs> <laughs> like you say, oh, he just want to capture you fully so he can go back and this. to the home. No TV. Life. Life from Cancun. <laughs> Straight from COP16. <laughs> Freshly emerged from Moon Palace. <laughs> and you see, even when we came out, the whole group like that, at least three, four people with camera, he still did not fly away. 
Mm-hmm. And we saw tiptoe and all that, you know, he couldn't care less. <laughs> fly to the, the front mountain nearby and sit there and lecture him. <laughs> they all stand around listening to her. When I found her, I thought, what are you doing? <laughs> she was having a grand time. <laughs> she was having a great time and I was having a great time when I take her back. <laughs> My God. There's a mountain with uh, less water, and she stands on a rock, lecturing to all surrounding seagulls. We have to go green to save the planet. <laughs> My master said that. <laughs> wow! Well, I can't believe it, because it's so good. You want some more uh, food? Normally I don't even have a tender. It's just because this time you already arranged and I need a lot of stuff, <laughs> you know, so I have to bring it. I have to have a tender to take care, you know? Otherwise I travel alone. I eat taquitos every day only. Mm-hmm. Taquito morning, lunch, dinner, or eat, eat, or one. No bread, bread, and apple. <laughs> Maggie, that's it. Yeah, I don't want to bother, you know, I don't want to be dependent on all these kind of things. If you eat, you want, if not, you just take it with you. No? Mm-hmm. Want to try some Mexican stuff? Because I know we had it, but we never had a chance to eat, okay? So you eat. If not, you just take some with you. Or eat, and then we have some more for you to take, okay? Mm-hmm. More tea? Go eat. Eat it, and we have more for you to take home. I shared it. At the end, they came to an agreement because mm-hmm. I was following the news and it, didn't it, was, work. it was stalemate. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. didn't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it didn't go anywhere. And then yeah. uh, you were there. And yeah, then, yeah. I go second with everybody, huh? yeah. the Japanese and the Americans. I told mm-hmm. them, yeah, they feel soft and something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I walked out already. American walked out. Chinese don't want. Japanese don't want. So it was very, very. Uh, very good at the end, everybody likes it, relieve and clap hand the whole night through. <laughs> the chairman or anybody has hardly a chance to talk because they're all clapping, clapping all the time. <laughs> we know already, we just clap. <laughs> uh, it was so cute. Uh, okay, at least some accord, you know? Yeah, peaceful at the end. Now at least I feel I must go. <laughs> it's okay. Tired, huh? Mm. Are you tired, all of you? Okay, huh? Tired, but happy now, huh? The end. Yeah. <laughs> last time, last last day, you know. I think everybody happy also. Go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't feel didn't have something, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they have just one, one or two title only, one or two subject only, not the whole um, accord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Probably they can talk it out. They work hard and truly work hard. I also feel very sorry for them. If they don't come out with anything, it's been more terrible. 
Every boy worked very hard, you know, running from one room to another, one meeting room to another, which is many kilometers away, you know, no car, just walking. But I don't know. I feel it's already better than nothing, yes. Just that we don't have much time and we still want to. But there's so many countries, what to do? But at least they have something, huh? To come out with, yeah. Many things in there are good. But maybe they will agree to that, you know, organic vegan. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe when they they work more on this agreement, you know, because it's like a framework. It's almost not like uh, complete yet, you know. Okay, they agree on something like the title of it, but then I think they have to work more. Like if they stop deforestation and all that, then maybe they have to think why deforestation, and they go into the subtly into the animal section, because most deforestation is for animals. So if they try to stop deforestation. Meaning, uh huh, <laughs> something like that. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i Faith, regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies, and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat, because, at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Kasiti Garba Sutra Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra Gaudai. The most important thing is to stop killing because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity, meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, 
I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for our health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. I love this birds. Wow. Beautiful birds. The two birds are so sweet. Mm -hmm. Not afraid of me at all, like he knows me. Like one of my birds at home only. Such an overwhelming familiarity, you know? Intimacy. I almost cry. So trusting. So beautiful. Only after we left and they go on the roof. When we come out and the camera clicking and and we will take better move. See? Very near already. I'm afraid we go too near, but but maybe even if we go near they also don't move. Because it's so so lovely. He just come right straight to me on purpose, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, so beautiful. I love. He sent him my love. Just love. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to touch his bald head. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> no hair from here to here, you know. Funny, the whole body is full of hair. Black, and uh, here nothing. <laughs> All balls, you know. So cute. Even even Turkey, they have something on their head. You know? <laughs> There's nothing, just a bald. <laughs> a wrinkle, you know, a bald. It's so cute. <laughs> so cute, so cute. My first time I see him come here, I bring good news. Thank you so much. We have hope, you say, like the audience, uh, they're going to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good news. Maybe he's the king of this well. big bird. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, that's like, <laughs> like good news. Yes. I don't care what he brings. I love him so much. Oh, such an intimacy, such a trust. Mm -hmm. You know, make me feel so good, so good, so loved. Oh my God, that is an honor. You know, <laughs> it's an honor, it's a privilege that they just come straight to me like that, as if one to step on my hand, even almost like that. Yeah. I, I feel like I could come and say, hey, up, and then you come. <laughs> that, you know, but I did. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> All these sharp uh, nails, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, they love so much. Oh, my. So intimate, yeah? Mm. Two times, not just one time. And like, maybe the first time, maybe he mistakenly think I'm just sitting there, you know, <laughs> I like a tree or something. <laughs> but I move, and I come back, and I sit down, and he come back. See? It's the same. And then you guys come and then broke our spell. <laughs> and I was sitting there and loving him. And then the journalist come. <laughs> Concurrence. <laughs> the competition. <laughs> he bring news, I also get the news. <laughs> All the journalists. <laughs> What's the name again? Uh, so pilote. So pilote. So pilote. So pilote. So big, big. Majestic, you know, and powerful. You feel powerful. But he come and 
so sweet like a pigeon. <laughs> you look in the eyes, so sweet, so sweet, full of love. My God, melts my heart, you know. I could just sit there forever, forever, forever. Yeah. But it's good that you guys came, also share, you know, the joy. But this, it was so, you know, magical. The two of us sitting there, <laughs> looking into each other's eyes. <laughs> no words spoken. And he was so loving, love. Oh my God. If all human was so loving like that, we would have peace. <laughs> I don't know until when it will happen. But you see better already, yeah? like Israel want to. Cooperate with Palestine for if the, the fire comes to your country, we have each other now. The two ministers, you know, Netanyahu and uh, the president talk together because of the fire in Israel. It was so big, Palestine helped, and then you see, it's a bad thing, but it's a good news. See how many takes some disaster like that to bring the two countries together. And I was so happy to see that news. Yeah? The two tend to be cooperate <laughs> and to help each other in the future. <laughs> My God, this is really something I like so much. <laughs> and uh, um, Prime Minister Netanyahu also apologized to Turkey already mm -hmm. about the life lost last time. He said sorry already. It was very good. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's a man, the relationship, you know. Wow, I can't believe it. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah? Your hard work is paying off. It's getting there, <laughs> My hard work. My spiritual account is going, going. Yes. But I'm happy to give. I'm just happy, very happy. I ask all the time, that, can I give more? And when heaven say no, I have to stop. I would give more and more all the time. Whenever I have, I give. But there's only limits, you know? Yes. Just like you cannot give your child too much money at the same time to go to school or to do something, you know? Just enough, and then you give more later if you need, if they need. Yes. Originally, I even asked if, if I could die to help everything in the world. I'm not saying, not useful. It's better I live. Yeah. So I had to protect my life. When I live, I help more than when I die. Mm -hmm. I thought if I die, that would be the ultimate sacrifice to help the world. But they say no, no, that is not. That's uh, not useful too much. You know, a little bit, but not too. Much. We cannot live without you, Master. If you're gone, we cannot survive. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll be okay. It's just that, uh, you know, for the world, huh? it's better. You see, to lose your life is not much compared to losing your spiritual point. Huh? So this time they want more than just a physical life. See what I mean? Yeah. More than just physical life, material life. Like me? Oh. Very good. And humble. Que nos ustedes acompañando por mucho tiempo, maestra, dándonos tu luz y tu sabiduría y todo tu amor. That you stay with us for a long time, master, giving us your light and all your love. 
possible, but you are older no, now. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. I stay as long as I can, eh? Estaré tanto como pueda, eh? As long as the uh, calm of the world. Your dress is beautiful. Hey, Mexicana. Maestro, tu vestido es hermoso. You are the beauty. Hey, cheese, right? Hey, cheese. Mexican. Mexican. Oh, it's Mexicana. Everybody wants me to say Mexico. Anyway, I love Mexico from beginning already, for a long time. Amo Mexico desde el principio. When I first come to your country, I love your people already very much. Desde la primera. Like fifteen, eighteen years, something ago. Wow. Desde la primera vez que vine a México hace quince, dieciocho años, yo llamaba a su gente. For me, it's easy to stay in Mexico. I have no problem. Para mí es fácil quedarme en México, no hay problema. What I mean, attachment wise, you know, I like to stay in Mexico. I don't mind. <laughs> Lo que quiero decir en cuanto a los apegos, a mí me gustaría quedarme en México. No me uh, the Mexican people, very simple, I like, very simple. La gente mexicana es muy sencilla y eso me gusta. Most um, Latin Americans are like that. La mayoría de los latinoamericanos son así. Yeah. Well, I don't know, the, uh, in, in Mexico I feel special, especially welcome, especially like home, you know, like my people. <laughs> Pero en México me siento de manera especial bienvenida como como si fueran mis personas, mi gente. I remember when I first came to Mexico, they first time ever know me. I first time ever know them. But when I left a couple of days later, they cry like mm. their mother <laughs> gone to heaven or something. <laughs> Recuerdo la primera vez que vine a México, los acababa de ver por primera vez, me acababan de ver por primera vez y lloraron como si se hubiera ido su madre al cielo. And every time I come, see them and left, it's the same like first time. Y entonces cada vez que los veo y los quiero es lo mismo que como la primera vez. Yeah. Where do you stay? Here no, in Cancún? No, no, no. I'm here in Monterrey. Below Texas. Frontera con Macalé. Ah, ok, ok. No problem. Does he have the sea there? No. Que si tienes mar. Que si tienes mar allí. Mountain. Mountain. River. I don't ask so much. I just ask if we have mountain, river, and sea all together. No pido demasiado. Solamente quiero que tengan montañas, ríos, mares, todo junto. Yeah, Cancun is special, huh? Yes. Especially uh, welcome. Yes. Cancun is special. It le da la bienvenida, especialmente a los extranjeros. I used to come here before. Uh, maybe because of that, I feel good in Cancun. Antes yo solía venir aquí. Quizás sea debido a eso que me siento muy bien en Cancun. And maybe because of the sea, you can also come here and look at the sea. When you see me, you see the sea. <laughs> Pueden, cuando vienen, ven el mar y me pueden mm. ver a mí. Oh. Dambo, sí. Ven dos veces el mar, el mar. Yeah. I just feel very welcome here. Yeah. Solamente es que me siento muy bienvenida aquí. Qué bien. Qué bien que se sienta bien. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. Mm. How good, right? How good that I feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's okay, but if it's convenient somewhere, I, don't, I just stay. De cualquier modo está bien, pero si es conveniente que me quede, me quedo. Doesn't matter. You can always come back and say, "Wow, I love Cancun anyway." Right? You love Cancun. Yes, yes, yes. You love Mexico. I yeah. Everybody loves it here, and you wish you could stay also. <laughs> But you have company. You must stay there to take care of company, no? Pero tienes a tu compañía. No te tienes que quedar allí para cuidar de tu de tu negocio. Que la cuida tu marido. Mi esposo y mis hijos cuidan de eso. My husband and my my boys take care of the business, so me and my daughter can come here. Oh, nice to be woman. Qué agradable ser mujer. It doesn't work at all. What the what the use of putting here? Este no funciona. ¿De qué sirve que me lo pongan? Chano. Yeah, I I used to learn uh, opera singing, you know.
Solía aprender a cantar ópera, ¿sabes? No, just learn a little bit only. Yeah. Solo aprendí un poquito nada más. Better, better than nothing. Mejor que nada. Uh, And mm, mm, opera people, they, they don't need microphone, they just sing. Like mm -hmm. Y la gente en la ópera no ocupa micrófonos, ellos nada más cantan. Ajá. Sí. Okay, right. <laughs> It's your country, you no can go where you like. Es tu país, tú puedes ir a donde te yeah. plazca. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> If you have to leave for the airport, you just go, huh, guys? Don't si, be late, huh? Si te tienes que ir al aeropuerto, mm. nada más ve, no llegues tarde. Cambiamos el ticket. Oh, I changed my ticket two times already. Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. It's not my home. Está bien, son bienvenidas, están en su hogar. Yeah, it's not my, my country, you do what you want. No es mi país, así que hagan lo que ustedes. I, I really feel good in Mexico. Realmente me siento muy bien en México. Cheer up, right? Yes, cheer. <laughs> Actually, it's no words, just no, cheering. just cheering, like a, like a football cheer leader. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a football, like football star now. <laughs> okay, I don't mind where I stay. I guess I stay long enough in, in Taiwan, long enough in Hong Kong, long enough in Europe. Oh, it's time to go to... And in the United States also stay in Los Estados Unidos. Yeah. I also stay in Costa Rica for many months and come and go many times. También me quedé en Costa Rica por muchos meses y fui y vine. Before, before. Antes. Because we have a center there. I bought a center for Costa Rican, you know? Porque teníamos un centro. Compré un centro para Costa Rica. Also, they have everything. Mexico didn't have any, huh? También allá tienen todo y aquí en México no tiene nada. Now, we don't have any center, nada. You just have me. Yeah, very welcome people. Yeah. 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 For example, this house normally only eight people, huh? <laughs> Look like eight hundred to me. <laughs> Soy muy buena para limpieza y para reparar cualquier cosa de tapicería, muebles, todo eso. Y me gusta mucho reciclar. I don't have uh, any attachment in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm very good on cleaning and to do all these tapestry oh. things. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Muy lindo. You are all welcome. It just depends on how big the house is. <laughs> Todos son bienvenidos. Solamente depende de qué tan grande sea la casa. Yeah. So maybe it can do. We can take turn, you know. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah. And then Sunday I go clean her office. El domingo voy a limpiar su oficina. She will clean for you, master. Uh, you go in my place, yeah? yeah. Just send the assistant to clean her. I go to the beach. Zero alcohol pina colada. Con una pina colada con cero alcohol. Big heart. <laughs> Cover the sun. El sueño. <laughs> Sleep. You can. It's okay. It, it picked up. Yes. You, you also have big voice. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. We have big voice. We reach everywhere. Everybody heard us. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, everybody hear you all over Cancun, Mexico. Todo el mundo los escucha en todo Cancun, quizá. Yes. Okay, we can cook every day for them. No problem. <laughs> whoever comes, welcome. Yeah, whoever, from president to the sweeper on the street, welcome. Even what like? The dogs, the dogs. The dogs come. 
Dog gum is good. Yes. 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 Yeah? You give them also food? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Yes. See? Yes. Even dogs welcome you. <laughs> y también le dimos a los perros. Ellos también son bienvenidos. Okay. Me Mexican dogs. <laughs> los perros mexicanos. Only. Solamente perros mexicanos. Yeah, bueno, bueno, okay. Houston. 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 Nearby. Nearby. Nearby Houston. Uh -huh. Ah. Near everywhere, near everywhere. Cerca de Houston, es a una hora y media. Florida also near everywhere, near. Everywhere near, huh? Yeah. Nowadays everything near, right? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. Mas, it's very and convenient. Not only practitioners love you. Mm -hmm. People, are, I saw the mayor and he said, oh, I cannot forget. He put his hand in his heart yeah. and said, I cannot forget that afternoon on Sunday. Oh. I will always keep it in my heart. The gala, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And another student from the university, we were about to start the class, and he goes, when's the master time? I told him meant the chair. What class? The class. Oh, the cooking class. And the university student asked for the master? Yeah. 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 And I asked him where he met you, and he saw you at the village, and he said that that was enough. Yeah. And today we went to bring books. You sure he asked for me or the chef? For you, master. <laughs> the master of the class? No, for you. Okay. <laughs> today one of the teachers, she touched your book, and we gave a lot of books. And she goes, these books are coming to us like they're coming from heaven. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Some people has uh, psychic power, you know, they can feel through the book. Dice la hermana, no nada más, los discípulos te aman, maestra, la gente de afuera también. El alcalde puso su mano en el corazón y dijo, jamás voy a olvidar esa tarde, se refería al alcalde de la gala. Entonces dice que también fueron a la, a la escuela de cocina. Un estudiante dijo que dónde estaba la maestra, que la había visto en la villa, pero no había sido suficiente nada más de verla esa vez. Entonces también después... Cuando hoy llevamos los libros a la universidad. Hoy llevamos los libros a la universidad y dijo alguien que esos libros le habían caído del cielo, sí, que habían venido del cielo a la universidad. Sí. And uh, one professor, she already read the whole book, and she does research. So now they want to implement vegetarianism in the university. Wow. Wow. Maestro ya leyó todo el libro y las investigaciones y quiere implementar el vegetarianismo en la universidad. Mm. Good news. Good news. <laughs> Buenas noticias. También tengo una noticia. Eh, en Perú ya tenemos tres meses la radio. Uh -huh. La radio eh, promoviendo uh, el cambio para la nueva era. Promoting Así. for change to the new era. El nombre de, el, del programa es the Ciencia y Ecología, promoviendo el cambio de hábitos para la nueva era. For the new era. Ah. Sí, Bravo. ya tres meses tenemos radio. Oh, We already have three months with the ah, Lima. Ah, Lima. Ah, wow. Perú. Capital. Oh. Very, very privileged. <laughs> Muy privilegiado. Sí. Thank Yo you. Good job. Good job. Sí, más ah. Yo quiero comentar que hubo una persona que, que dijo um, que el equipo había hecho muy buen trabajo porque nuestras benditas bolsas estaban por todo Cancún, Tulum y Playa del Carmen. Master, a person says we really did a good job because our old blessed uh, gift bags were all around Cancún. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tulum, Tulum. Also, she said Tulum. And also in, and also in Tulum. Yeah. Ah. Sí, Tulum, Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen. Maestra, ah. ayer en, en Villa de Climática ha habido mucha participación de la gente de tener el deseo de cambiarse por ser vegetariano. Y se sentía mucho amor y mucha... Yes, important. Yes. Uh, also in the climate village, there's a lot of people feeling very good about changing from being vegetarian. Uh -huh. Prometí. Not changing from. From. For being vegetarian. For, for. <laughs> changing diet from me to, to, to being vegetarian. vegetarian. And they promise they will. Oh. Sí, maestra. Se sentía esa, em, ese, ese agradecimiento por el, lo que usted, maestra, había dado mucha luz, mucho conocimiento, porque mucha gente ignoraba lo del gas metano. Mm -hmm. We could really feel uh, the, the thank for the people because you really share a lot of light and a lot of knowledge about and methane. methane. Yes, many people don't know. 
Yeah, all the journalists who interview me promise to be vegetarian right now. Right? Wow. periodistas que me entrevistaron prometieron ser vegetarianos ahí mismo, desde ahora. There's a restaurant called Gopal. Eh? They sell vegan food there. Hubo In Cancún, downtown. Oh. Oh. Hubo también un, maest un, un maestro, maestra que fue a la villa y desde que probó la comida vegana se hizo vegano y convenció a su familia y se llevó también información para compartirla con sus estudiantes. You have to find out how many veg vegan or vegetarian, at least vegetarian or vegan restaurant in Cancún or somewhere in Mexico, you print it all out. And when you give, you, you also advise them, otherwise they don't know where to buy. Hay un restaurante vegano llamado Gopal en el centro de Cancún. También tienen que investigar todos los restaurantes vegetarianos, veganos o mínimo vegetarianos que hay en México y en sus alrededores para imprimirlos y dárselo a la gente. Ok. <risa> Incluso los mismos policías, este, muchos de ellos dijeron que intentarían convertirse en vegetarianos aun cuando andando en varios lugares como militares les daban carne. Ellos mismos este, prometieron que iban a intentar ser vegetarianos. Even the police must have, uh, they said they will try to be vegetarian even though when, while they work they have to move and they only feed them meat, but they say they will try to be vegetarian. From now, yeah. From now on. Very good, very good. Yeah, you do a good job. Huh? La gente también comentaba que la comida bendita estaba muy, muy sabrosa y hasta el agua les, les servía diferente. Decían sí. que, que qué le poníamos al agua, que porque era muy fresca, muy sabrosa. Y les decían, la, las hermanas les decían, nada, solo agua. Entonces, <laughs> solo agua. Even the water you give them is good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Say, what did you put in the water, right? And yes. she said, only water. <laughs> it's very different. Yes. yes. And very delicious. And they asked, yeah. why did you put in the water? And they said, oh. <laughs> said that um, it's just the water. How come mm. I feel so so good? And mm -hmm. so I feel like I love in there. Yes, yes, yes. And, and sweet, is, sweet taste. Es solo agua. ¿Cómo es posible que siento mucho amor allí y que me sabe dulce? Mm. Not, not sweet like sugar, not but very, special, yes. special. Yes. Yes. No dulce como de azúcar, pero sino especial. Sí, sí. especial. How many Vietnamese still here? Yeah. Don't want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> From America, right? America, America. Where, where? California. <laughs> Texas, New York, Los Angeles, California, Georgia, San Jose, Fresno, Texas, Seattle, Florida, Whew. the whole, the whole United States of America come here. <laughs> Hawaii, huh? Hawaii. Big Roy. Chưa nói đã biết rồi. Okay, never mind. You're welcome. If if uh, the government let you, you just come. Hmm? <laughs> si el gobierno se los permite nada más. I don't think you have any problem coming here, no. Yo creo que no tendrá ningún problema para venir acá. Yeah. You drive, you walk, you swim, you fly. Manejan, caminan, nadan, vuelan. Nada. Yo este, este, he estado enseñando a la gente cómo usar el PET, lo que son botellas, para reciclar y hacer las estuches para celular. Sí, con el periódico hacer bolsas, botes de basura, estos he estado enseñando ahorita en la escuela que estoy. Y de ahí les estoy también hablando de vegetarianismo, cómo ser mejor de su vida vegetariana. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching how to use, how to recycle PET with the bottles, the PET, the plastic, and I've been teaching them how to make like a mobile phone, uh, phone case and bags and everything. Out, out of the plastic bag? 
Uh, no, the plastic bottles. Uh, bottles. Can make it mobile phone out of it? Mo mobile phone case. Case. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Very case. good. Good idea. Good idea. And also teach them about vegetarianism. Yeah, yeah. At home, we just use uh, filter water, you know, but while traveling, it's difficult. Uh, so we use sometimes the plastic bottle, but we keep it to recycle as much as possible. Yeah. En la casa también usamos agua de filtro, okay, pero yeah. cuando viajamos es difícil mantenerlo, entonces las, usamos las botellas de plástico tanto como sea posible. Mm -hmm. Because the hotel or, or the, the airplane just give you, you know, plastic bottles. <laughs> Porque en los hoteles o en los aviones les dan este yeah. nada más botellas de plástico. But uh, I drink very little anyway. Just, pero yeah. tomo muy poco, mm -hmm. de cualquier modo. Oh, okay. Pero yo las personas que usan todo el, este, el todo el plástico del PEC, ¿sí? Se pueden hacer muchas cosas, hasta sillones de puff, este, estuches para celulares, bolsas, flores, muchas cosas se pueden hacer. We can make a lot of things like yeah. flowers and yeah. cushions and, yeah. and chairs yeah, and mobile right. cases, a that's lot right. of things to be done. There was one one uh, one man uh, very famous. He collect all the plastic bottle before in Cancún. And he make like a platform. Uh, he stay on uh, the water. <laughs> make a small island for himself. Hubo un hombre, hubo un hombre hace mucho tiempo en Cancún que juntaba todas las botellas y entonces hizo una plataforma, hizo una isla para él solo. I I saw that many years ago. Vi eso hace muchos años. Six seven years ago, and he stay on that little island with plastic bottle. Lo vi hace seis siete años y se quedaba en esa isla de botella. Yeah, it's a floating island. <laughs> Es una isla flotante. Oh, uh, plastic bottle, yes. Con botellas de plástico. You know, right? He's famous, yeah. Uh, it's a very small island, of course. <laughs> Era una isla muy pequeña, por supuesto. Just for him alone. Yeah. Nada más para él solito. But he's there, yeah? Have a little, a little hut on it. Pequeña casa. There he floats on the, on the water somewhere in Cancún. Y flotaba mm. por el agua, por algún lugar de Cancún. <laughs> When we went to the primary school, okay. uh, when you are distrib distributing the money, remember? Uh -huh. And the mayor's wife came to me and said, please tell master to stop now because it might be dangerous. Later people will, will come more and more. Yeah. I said, okay, then I tell you. You said, that's okay, just a little left. Mm -hmm. And she turned to me and she said, I only care about her. Mm -hmm. She said, you only care about your safety. Understand. And then she said to me, she said, I feel so embarrassed. You, master, do so many things to her people. She oh. feels she doesn't do enough. Oh. I said, no, please no. don't say that. You are so loving, no. my master. Yeah, you know? she does it all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. what she said at that time. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. No, there were people who were just poor people, you know, and we distribute until we cannot, so it's all right. When we don't have, then we don't have. They know it. <laughs> Actually, I empty on my pocket that day, <laughs> and I empty yours as well. <laughs> But everybody was happy. Please uh, reclaim it, okay, from the from the residents here. Don't worry, it's not his money, it's all my money. So you just take it, okay? okay. Take it back, the money you lent to me, okay, that day. All right? Okay. Uh, please, please, yes. There's another story in front of Cancun and say, this uh, brother from uh, Formosa, he went to Cancun and say every, you know, every day to yes, see yeah, yes. Cancun in front of him. Right now he's, he's, he's gone, so I'm related to the story. Oh, okay. He said, we distribute the flyers and all that things, and also the uh, shirts. Yes. And there is a two policemen, one in uniform, asked for thirty shirts, mm -hmm. and the, another one in just uh, civilian, you know, clothes. And he said he's uh, a police too. He asked for another thirty shirts, and uh, they told him we asked for those shirts not for the physical shirt itself; it's for the spiritual. Wow. wow. So, The police here are very smart, huh? Very intelligent and uh, very enlightened as well. Uh, many police came for me to sign books <laughs> in the village, yes. Sheriff, you know, with the star even. Oh. They also mentioned that when they wear the shirts, um, yeah, of course he will go to distribute to his team members and they say when each of them wear the shirts, they remember what we are doing here and what it's for. Oh. So it's very <laughs> Vest talk, vest talk. <laughs> Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, 
reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3.4 billion hectares of land, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production, reduces pollution from untreated animal waste, maintains cleaner air, saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year, stop 80% of global warming, plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash save dash our dash planet. Hello, okay. Master. Um, we uh, Koreans, like 34 Koreans came uh, this time and uh, mostly they go out in front of Cancun Mess with banners and stand there. They said, oh, we came here for work, but it seems like here is heaven. Everybody just supporting, you know, even the stand there waving hand. They're honking and mm -hmm. shows us a hand peace mark sign. and peace yeah. sign and also like, you know, uh, kiss and blowing oh, kiss. Oh, 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 how can you? Yes. Yes. Oh, they said, oh, I feel like here is heaven. How come everybody so Supportive. welcoming, supporting? Uh, yeah, it, seems, it seems like they said, um, you know, flower is ready to burst open. Yeah. Just a little touch, they yeah. just accept it. Okay, yes. yeah, the Mexican everybody. people, very open, very yeah, open, yeah. very pure, that's why. Yeah. Very pure in the heart. Maybe you heard this story, you know, on the first day that uh, when you get there, police were lined up. Of course. You know, yeah, full lined up and the, the road right in front is all blocked, right? Mm. Th that day I, I went there. Mm. And then I thought, oh, what will we do? I just give some lemonade, right, to them. So I, we had a two bottle of big lemonade, right? How big? I was just, just so many. Five gallons. Five gallons. Five gallons. Five gallons. Yeah, yeah, five gallons. And uh, the how many ma lemonade cup can you make out of that? How many lemonade cup from five gallon? I don't know about maybe one hundred people we could give. Uh huh. One hundred policemen. Oh, give. from these two bottles. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have a small, uh, what is it? Jug, jug, jug. Yeah, yeah jug. Yeah. And then we just yeah. That's a big one. That's and a big then, one. Yes. And then we gave uh, one by one. You know, I recognize first the police with guns and it's so scary. But when I get near them, look at their face. Oh, so pure and innocent. And they everybody accept, say thank you, then you know, gracious. Russia's. And then the next day in the newspaper, you saw that, right? They said uh, a Vietnamese girl melted the lava cup. <laughs> <Something> <laughs> like yes. Why robot? They were like very scary looking uh, and they're all armed. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Yeah. But of course, they had to. The first day, they had to protect. There are many VIP from all over the world. They must have felt very much pressure. Yeah. Yes. And then just took one day, we reach in front of right in front of okay. Cancun Mess. Next day they just allowed Change, us to gain. Yeah. 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 Because they, they recognize, you know, it's just their job they has to do. Okay? Yeah. But they would also smell goodness. Yeah? Right. They they're trained, you know, to recognize also good and bad. Yeah. Most of policemen has a very high intuitive feeling. Ah yeah, yes. Yes. So yes. they're very concentrated on their job. They even recognize our van. So they said, oh, if Ben with our cars, they just let in, oh. and other cars, ah. no. <laughs> yeah, every day they came back from work, you know, from distributing flyers. They said uh, so many stories. Mm -hmm. They won't take a picture. They want to, you know, shake hands. Also, they said, oh, they promised, okay, I become vegetarian mm -hmm. very quickly. Yes. So that's why I'm surprised. 
Why is it bright? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's so different from Korea. I know. Elsewhere also, yeah, not just yeah. Korea. Yeah. I told you that's why I, I love Mexican people. Yeah. I really like Mexicans. Yeah, they said uh, some uh, sisters, they, in Korea, they do every day, you know, mostly every day distribute. Mm -hmm. It's hard. But here, everybody take. Mm -hmm. So he said, they said, uh, oh, we rewarded everything in Mexico. We are rewarded. <laughs> yeah, uh, we are in Mexico. Rewarded. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, then it's a good thing. Okay? Yeah. yeah all right. Maestra. Huh? <laughs> Maestra. Es una gran nueva. Una noticia muy bella que usted venga a México, porque así todos los que estamos en Sudamérica, Centroamérica, vamos a tener mucha, muchas bendiciones. No sabe cuánta alegría nos da que haya decidido venir a México y porque eso va a irradiar mucho más luz a todo este de continente de, de América. Mm. Gracias, maestra. No, no. <laughs> 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 it's a very good thing you come here to Mexico because that way your light will radiate to all South America and Central America. And we were very pleased to know when you were coming here because they are sure this thing will happen. So she's very thankful to you for all those blessings, Master. My pleasure. <laughs> Me pleasure. My love. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, huh? Uh, some people have to go, some people have to pack or something, right? Yeah. Go is a, a hotel, very expensive. Ah. I, Porque el hotel es muy costoso. Yeah. I expressly wrote to the foreign group, say, I don't want a president suit, I just want a normal room. <laughs> Yo expresamente le escribí a Foreign Group para decirle, no quiero una suite presidencial, quiero un cuarto regular. Yes, but they rented me, as you know, president, <laughs> presidential <laughs> suite. <laughs> me rentaron, como ustedes saben, la suite presidencial. The reason I don't want it because it's expensive. <laughs> la razón por la que no la quiero es porque es costosa. Yeah. Uh, I want to use money for other things. Quiero usar el dinero para otras cosas. Yeah, to help the world. Para ayudar al mundo. Not to just my comfort, you know. <laughs> no nada más para mi confort. Yeah. Only when necessary, not like I'm ascetic, but whenever we we can do with the smaller um, smaller comfort, then we do that whenever we can. <laughs> no es porque sea ética, sino es como como se pueda cualquier cualquier vez que podamos arreglarnos con algo más pequeño con me, con menor comodidad está bien lo hacemos. And second, because the president's suit always big and long, big. En, big. Se, en segundo lugar, porque la suite presidencial siempre es larga y grande. Yeah. From um, my kitchen to the toilet is uh, like one kilometer. <laughs> De mi cocina al baño es como un kilómetro. It felt like that when I first saw it. Se sintió así la primera vez que la vi. I am so tired already and have to walk, you know. Whenever I I walk to the bedroom, I have to circle around the big bed to go king size, you know. Y siempre que iba al cuarto tenía que dar toda la vuelta una cama enorme king size para llegar. To go to the bathroom. Para llegar al baño. Even in the bedroom, if I want to take the two tables, you know, and a two small table, I have to put something on this table. And something on the other side of the bed. And uh, if I want something, I have to run around <laughs> one square mile <laughs> of a king size bed. It feels so big to me. Incluso había dos mesitas, entonces si yo quería poner una mesita y quería poner algo en la otra mesita y de una a otra tenía que ir como un, una milla cuadrada para obtener. Because I don't have a bed at home. I'm not used to it. Circumambulance around the planet like that. Porque yo no tengo una cama en casa, entonces no estoy acostumbrada a estar dando círculos de ese modo ahí. The planet, el planeta. Al planeta. El planeta, yes. It feels like that. So after I live there for one week, okay, I get used to a little bit and okay, it's not too bad. Luego de una semana me acostumbré un poco y dije, bueno, no es tan mal. But when I first came, it felt everything so far, so far. Pero cuando recién llegué sentía todo tan lejos, tan lejos. Yeah, I thought if you rent such an expensive and 
If you can afford such an expensive suit, why don't you just rent a golf car for me? Put it inside. <laughs> You know, <laughs> or even a helicopter is quick. Or even a helicopter. Yeah, because at home I have to run so far and then go down in the lobby. It's another very far. Porque en la casa tengo que correr muy lejos y también para bajar al lobby es muy lejos. Yeah, and go to the mess. You know, you have to park very far. You know, you have to go all the way to park and then go all the way back to register or to screen before you can get in. Y también en el mes está todo muy lejos, uno tiene que ir a estacionarse y luego caminar muy lejos para ir hasta el registro o para el chequeo, para que te chequen a uno. And then uh, many uh, sections, you know, many buildings, building A, building B, C, you know, and then room uh, Monaca, Luna, <laughs> yeah, whatever room, you know, very difficult to find everything, long, long way walk. Y luego también hay muchos edificios y muchas secciones, edificio A, edificio B, Salón Luna, Salón, salón Monaco, Monaca, uh, México, and then México, and México. <laughs> oh, kind of room I forget the name, you know. Y toda clase de cuartos, yeah. se me ha olvidado su nombre. Uh, what other name? Cenote, and Siba, and <laughs> Seiba, Cenote. Seiba, Cenote, Aztec, Maya. Aztec, <laughs> Huh? <laughs> wow, running around all day. Allá corriendo alrededor todo el día. So when you come home, you see the toilet in the, in the far corner of the universe. Y cuando llego a casa veo el veo el baño hasta en la última esquina del universo. My God, I just sleep in between. Dios mío, nada más vivo en medio. Between the the, the door and the and the bathroom. The uh, living room, also very big. <laughs> Entre la puerta y el baño hay una sala, también muy grande. It looks like one square kilometers to me. <laughs> A mí me parece como una milla cuadrada. Everything is king size. Todo en tamaño enorme. Sofa also. So I just sink in the sofa. <laughs> Forget about the bath. <laughs> Así que nada más me hundo en el sillón y me olvido del baño. Yes, we go running around already many kilometers between the mesa. And then between the rooms uh, of the, the moon palaces. Yeah, and then come home, you don't feel run, like running anymore. <laughs> Porque todo, estuve todo el día corriendo en el, en el mes y luego también en el moon palace. Entonces cuando llego a casa ya no me siento con ganas de correr más. Of course I can afford that. I can afford the, the price, yeah. But it's too expensive. I don't need to. I don't need that. Not that I cannot, but I don't need por supuesto que puedo costear el precio, pero en realidad no lo necesito. Sí puedo, pero no lo necesito. Yeah. And then I say also food is very simple because at home I eat very simple. Nobody cooks for me. I just eat maybe a little bread or apples and whatever available, you know. We don't cook. They don't cook for me. I just take care of dogs and birds. They cook for dogs. Take care of birds, but not for me because I'm just very simple. Y también les dije que la comida muy simple. En casa no cocinan para mí, cocinan para los perros, para las aves, pero no cocinan para mí. Sometimes just a piece of bread and a banana or an apple. A veces nada más un pedazo de plátano, un pedazo de pan, una One time. Manzana. One time per day. <laughs> una vez al día. Yeah. Una vez al día. Uh, no more. I don't have time to eat more than once. A maximum tries. If I don't eat much, uh, that, that one time maybe maximum tries. But very little like that. Y solo una vez porque no puedo comer más, quizás dos, quizás dos veces, pero es muy raro cuando como nada más una sola vez así. So I also wrote food very simple. Así que también les dije la comida muy simple. And you know how simple they made. <laughs> y ya saben qué tan simple la hicieron. The supreme master cooks for me the table like this, all full of food. Nuestra <laughs> suprema que cocina para mí una mesa así de grande, toda llena de comida. Yeah, of course I cooperate, you know. Por supuesto que cooperé, ¿sabes? Because the food is so good. Porque la comida se veía muy bien. And all my SM clothes that designed for me don't fit no more. <laughs> You know, like the jacket that have to be tight and have a, a waistline. I just had to open it. Yeah, inside. Yeah, inside is a shirt or a t-shirt, you know, and outside is not possible. 
playera, una blusa, por fuera ya no es posible. It's like open minded, you know. Como que abierta, mente abierta. New style. Nuevo estilo. Mexican clothes, very comfortable. La ropa mexicana es muy cómoda. Thank you, thank you. Whenever I go in the, the shop to buy some clothes from Mexico, I say, uh, do you have a medium size? He said, only one size. <laughs> Uh, most most of the shirt or the clothes are only one size. Uh, it's very good for me. <laughs> one size fit all. <laughs> very welcome, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The Mexican they, they understand the psychological things about women. <laughs> Los mexicanos entienden los aspectos psicológicos de las mujeres. So they just say one size, you know? Así que ellos nada más dicen una talla. So the skinny lady and the fat lady feel no, no different between. Así que las mujeres delgadas y las mujeres más gorditas no yeah. sienten diferencia entre ellas. Nobody feel bad, you know? Nadie se siente mal. Yeah. I like it very much. Me gusta mucho. Okay. Before uh, I come and go, you know, it's not that like I feel nothing, but it, it doesn't feel so, so tight like this time. <laughs> like before I came here, I feel also very difficult to come this time. Very difficult. Yeah, apart from being too comfortable there and then the dogs you know, crying, uh, I just feel lazy to go, you know. I just left Cancun for two weeks before the cup begins. Tenía flojera de, de venirme porque estaba cómoda allá y también porque los perros lloraban. Y hace dos semanas que había venido antes de que empezara la cup. Yeah. At that time, very easy for me to go. Just leave, just like that. En ese momento era, fue muy fácil para mí nada más irme así. I was eager to go back home. <laughs> estaba ansiosa por regresar a casa. Uh, this time... So difficult, like, I don't know, like I'm tired of all different directions, you know, like oh, I'm all wrapped in, 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 in all a rope, and you know, and everybody, you know, uh, I say poor and different sides, like that. Pero en esta ocasión me siento atada por todas partes, como si estuviera atada en toda clase de, direc de direcciones con cuerda y todo atada para todas partes. Que hay un funcionario de la Secretaría de Medio Ambiente que dijo que la iba a invitar al festejo de la Madre Tierra. Uh, Master, there is a, a politician of a uh, Secretary of Environment that says he wants to invite you for the Day of Mother Pero Earth. No. Oh, okay, okay, why not? <laughs> sí, sí, porque... It seems to me like the politician or the government of Mexico genuinely care for their country and their planet's well-being. Me parece que los políticos de México genuinamente se preocupan por el ambiente y por su gente. Why I do I need it? Oh, okay. I, it's better for the public, no? <laughs> Is it one size fit all? Okay. It's very nice. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should give it to the public. Oh, yeah. But thank you anyway. You you understand why not? Because I don't want it. But because we 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 should just give it. You know, it's more beneficial to them. I I wear Mexican one size. You know? <laughs> If you go home, have a smooth trip, okay? And my love to your family. And friends. And dogs. And cats. And birds. And chicken. And horses. We don't always have to be together. We have to work together in different sections of the world. Yeah, we have to save 
the planet. <laughs> Tenemos que salvar al planeta. At least save the world. Okay? Por lo menos salvar al mundo. Okay, see you. Thanks. See you. I see you, lovely. See you.